Papa says these storms will pass. Trust him and don't lose heart. In the end, Papa's going to use all this for his good. Are you Reverend Andrews? I am. You are? I am Mrs. Muriel Miller. My husband is in county jail. Sam had a dream last night, and he saw you coming to see him. How are you and your wife this fine morning? I was going to leave you last November. I even signed the divorce papers. Clearly tell me why you sent your wife to find me in church. <laughs> Papa told me to. So you're telling me that God sent you to contact me? Yes. So you could be my lawyer. I'm still licensed to practice law, but I haven't done so in six years. Bye. Is that you? Mr. Forrest, good morning. Uh, you remember Jack Hatcher from the bank? Mr. Hatcher. Hi. I don't think it's wise for you to be representing Mr. Miller. I've seen the documentation. It's embezzlement. He came in here like a fortune teller. He forged my signature. State versus Miller, Mr. Andrews. Will you be representing Mr. Miller? Mike, what's really going on? I believe that God wants me to do this. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yep. So help you God. Amen. I've been working on the article about your client. I don't know how he did it. That son of a gun found information that nobody else knows. It's a sign and a wonder. Does Sam know Jack Hatcher? I don't think so. Sam has dreams. He writes a lot of letters to people he don't know. If you're looking for hard evidence of improper activity at the bank, I'm not the person to give it to you. Where are you going with this cross-examination? I don't know. You stopped me. You're not going to leave this alone, are you? No. Mike, the church is on fire. What? They're going to make it sound like you wanted to burn the church down. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. I know. Can I help you? We'd like to speak with Reverend Andrews. Papa put you right here for a reason. Proof will come out. In the end. Yeah, what did he mean here in heaven? Very hard to answer that question. 